Okay, so guys, bear with me here because I don't know how this is going to go. Um, this is my preview for the Week 13 matchup between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Cincinnati Bengals from Paycor Stadium. Bengals are coming off a bye week, but more so than anything else, if you want me to be positive about something, um, it is our quarterback. And that's the end. I've, I've not made a Bengals video in seven, eight days, and I could not be more happy about that. This team has done nothing to earn pretty much any reason for me to make any video at all. And come out of the bye week, the only reason I'm making a preview is because I don't shy away from, from previews, post games, all those. I make these every week, sitting down here looking like a fool trying to cover this team. And speaking of covering, this team can't cover another team to save their lives. I mean, quarterbacks have been thrown all over them, and they've done nothing to change their ways. I don't care about injuries and all. Every team has injuries. Injuries happen. We've done nothing. And you guys saw my last Bengals video. I went berserk. I usually say things in the heat of the moment. I can't recall. I could be wrong. I can't recall one thing that I regret saying. I'm going to be honest. Not a single thing that I regret saying. But anyway, getting on to this matchup. It's my preview for the Pittsburgh Steelers, Cincinnati Bengals. I don't understand. I don't know what to expect. But anyway, before I dive into this, I need you guys to hit that like, comment, subscribe. You know, that always helps the channel. Um, first and foremost, please hit that like, comment, subscribe. Like, hit everything. And I am just furious right now still, even off the bye week. Um, you know, you could say that this is a return back or whatever you want to call it. I still have not changed a single opinion on this team. And it's not because of, oh, they're not capable of it. It's just that they're not going to do it. They'll always find a way to mess it up. That's what bad teams and bad franchises do. I said that in my picks video too. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. It's, but anyway, let, let, let's look at us first. I mean, we're four and seven, a must win situation. I mean, damn, we've said that for the last like three weeks and we've lost the last two. I mean, you want to talk about a positive Joe Burrow's leading this outstanding, amazing offense. We're scoring on damn near every possession. The Burrow Chase connection has been on fire. We've had close losses to the Ravens and Chargers. And it's a damn shame that I have to freaking, on Steelers week, I have to rage about this coaching staff. Because you guys know how I feel about the Steelers. I can't stand this franchise. I hate their terrible towels. I hate their stupid, hypocritical fans. I hate everything about them. I wish nothing but the worst on that franchise, no matter what. I hate their entitled... And their entire franchise of dumbass coaches, dumbass players, dirty players, dirty coaches. They're the most hypocritical franchise of all of sports. They're right up there with the Cardinals, Michigan, Browns, Cubs, you name it, arguably above them all. I freaking hate this team. I despise them. But you know what else I despise? I hate these coaches right now. We struggle with in-game adjustments because of Zach. We struggle with conservative play calling in critical situations. Our clock management is terrible. Our timeout usage is terrible. We have questionable decisions and high pressure. And I'd say low pressure at this point. Because damn, last week was like a reverse trend. We did better in high pressure situations when we were down 20, we up 7 to 6. But in the first half, we couldn't execute for crap. And you know what else I got to say? The defense, Lou Lamarumo, he needs to be on the hot, 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 hot seat. I'm tired of this. The defense throughout the entire playoff run was great. Not top 10, maybe top 15. They were great in the playoff runs that we had. There's got to be some accountability here. You can blame the injuries. You can blame the coach, honestly. I'm going with the coach right now. What a fall off by this dude, man. He was a head coach candidate like just two years ago. I'm getting, I'm getting tired of it. We've had ex expectations. Look at the Detroit Lions. A team that has had struggled in the past more than we have. They're getting all the shine right now. Because they know how to build around their quarterback. Who isn't even nearly, in my opinion, I have all the respect in the world for Jared Goff. He's not Joe Burrow. And they're still getting it done. They're about to be 11-1 and one after this week. Because I think they're beating Chicago. When's the last time the Bengals started 11-1? and one? When's the last time we, what's the, what, outside of that 10-game stretch in 2022, when can you last say the Bengals were absolutely dominant? I mean, they got it together in the end of 2021. 
it's just ridiculous what this franchise has become. You know, in this short amount of time, you go from a Super Bowl appearance, AFC Championship appearance, out of the playoffs, and you're probably going to miss the playoffs for the second straight year. It's 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 infuriating. And as much as I absolutely hate the Steelers, they know how to coach up their players. They know how to develop their talent. They spend money when it's necessary. Look at the moves they made over tra- the trade deadline. They got Preston Smith. And you know why that is? Yeah, their organization is light years ahead of us, but Zach Taylor will never be Mike Tomlin. Say what you want about Mike Tomlin. You can say, oh yeah, he's never had a losing season. A lot of people give him extra credit for that. He hasn't. When... When when can you say, like, the Bengals are so arrogant and they feel like they have to be, they always have to have whatever's like, like, they just feel like they know everything. They have one of the smallest scouting departments, which they need to fix up, by the way. What have you won to, 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 to show that your, uh, like your, your ways right now are working? You've won, you've won Jack. You have a conference title, one conference title since 1988. That's it. And that's why the Bengals will never be the Steelers. Zach will never be Mike, period. And let's look at this. Look at this team. Eight and three, three game, three and a, three and a half games better than us. TJ Watt is dominating on defense. Yeah, he's at, he's having a little bit of a quiet. I want I don't want to say a down year, but a little bit. He 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 has been a little quiet recently. But you know what? They got a mini buy after the Browns loss. You know what happens usually? I've noticed this so many times. They play the Browns. They lose in Cleveland. They've had some struggles in Cleveland. But they figure it out. on the Right after they lose to Cleveland, they feel like they come to the other side of Ohio and they, you know, we give them their confidence back. It happened last year. They lost to Cleveland. They fired Matt Canada. Guess who got them back on track? And then they lost three straight. Only two losses Jake Browning had outside of Kansas City were against this team. I mean, he beat up on Minnesota, beat up Indianapolis, two you know two decent defenses at the time as well. Beat up on Jacksonville, beat Cleveland out with the starters, obviously. But we got smoked by this team twice last year. You know, I really want to count this as revenge because last Christmas game that pissed me off. We went into their place and we got smacked. I believe it was thirty-one to. 10, 11, whatever. 34, 11. Yeah, something like that. I want revenge on these dudes. So bad. I wish that this, this team was somewhat, like, just... I wish they were angry right now. Just like, okay, we need to beat these dudes. Because this team just smacked you last year twice. You see what their fans were saying last year? They were gloating about sweeping. Without Joe Burrow, you could say that whatever you want. They swept us last year. They've been they they have beaten us 14 of the last 18 matchups. You're making losing to the Steelers a numb. And every time we play this team, it's a mental block. It's ridiculous. I don't know what what to say about it because we just can't beat this team. It's annoying. I hate losing to this team and they make it so easy to feel the feeling. I mean, there's going to be issues unless we get something going. Huge issues. The expectations of consistent playoff runs, that's out the door. They're going to miss the playoffs for the second straight year. In Burrow's prime, Chase's prime, Higgins is on a contract or you know, contract year. He's probably gone after this year. We call for accountability. Win or alienate your fan base, period. That stadium that you see in Paycor, that's going to be 50% terrible towels minimum, in my opinion. Because Bengals fans aren't going to show up and watch this crap. We're tired of it. You have a you have a, a a killer at quarterback, a killer at wide receiver, killer even at running back there, I say, because Chase, Chase Brown is pretty good too. Trey Hendrickson's a killer. And you are wasting it. Great seasons by all of them, you're wasting it. And you're finding ways to lose at the worst time. This is not the time to be losing. And the worst part, I don't think you guys care. What reason do I have to believe that you're going to go out there and win against the Steelers? You always lose to them. So win or alienate your fan base because there's no other option. There's no reason we shouldn't win this game because I think that we can. 
But the reason I don't think we will is because we always screw it up. We always find a way to screw it up. That's what bad teams, bad franchises, that's what they do. Like, I'm sorry. Talent-wise, we can, we can beat this team. But culture-wise, just... I don't see how we I don't see how we beat this team. I know they're coming off a loss in, in in Cleveland, but guess who gets them back on track most of the time? It's this team, the Bengals. So, I am just I'll be I'll I'll be pissed if we lose because our season's over, but I wouldn't be even the least bit surprised. And I just can't stand losing to these guys, but we always do it. So the feeling is still the feeling is just numb. I don't want to get numb to it. But what reason? We swept them in 2021. We split with them in 2022. We should have swept them. But we got smacked around last year, and they're looking a much better team than we are this year. No reason to believe we should win this game. I don't know how we're favored. I know they give three points to the home team, but there's no reason we should be favored to win this game. No doubt about it that the Steelers should be favored. So if you aren't going to make it, I, I'm just going to say, at least beat these dudes. You know, at up. You talk about like things to hold on to, even if you don't make it. Maybe a victory against these dudes. Maybe a sweep against Cleveland, even though that could also be another, you know, a tough one. Just beat these dudes. I don't know what to say. I'm not picking us to win. But I can't stand these guys, so beat them. I mean, there's nothing. I feel like there's nothing more that we want to do. I know Jermaine Pratt guaranteed to win, but there's nothing that we would want to do, uh, than, nothing more that we would want than to beat the Pittsburgh Steelers. At least our fan base. Like, that would, a win against these dudes would just, like, it would, it would make the fans just breathe a little bit. Because it's just, we haven't won a game since the 3rd of November against the Raiders. So please, show some fight. Show, for a game, just show something. Don't give up. If it turns into a shootout, I like our chances. Please. Just wake up and beat these dudes. I can't stand the Pittsburgh Steelers, but... Whew, it's going to be a tough one. These guys are a good team. So, anyway, that's all I got for you guys. Um, you know, like, comment, subscribe, like I said. Please just beat the Steelers. That's all I can say to this team, but... You know, I don't love our chances, but... You know, that's partially just because I don't I don't think they deserve to be picked. They haven't they their defense has been atrocious. The coaching just doesn't it just feels like they've lost the locker room. They're just a complete mess right now. And yeah, their stadium is gonna be a mess with terrible towels. So anyway, you guys have a good one. I'm out.